Good evening guys, this is Mel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the latest version of Dialogs, Dialogs Evo 12.1. If you haven't downloaded and installed the latest version, it is available for free to download and install. The link is also provided in the description of this video. So Dialogs has made few new updates and features which is going to be really very helpful to all the Dialogs users. And we are going to discuss these features one by one in a short detailed videos. So here's the first one today which I think is much needed. That is the selection of rooms to define the spaces or the utilization profile. Previously we had to go to the individual rooms, select the spaces and define the utilization profiles. I remember a project of mine which had around 100 rooms in just level zero that is ground floor and i have to spend major time of the work of that project in just assigning the rooms its names and utilization profiles with this new feature i think it is going to save a lot of time let's check it out this feature. for this i have considered a sample project it is actually a hotel layout i have already drawn the outer contour now let's draw the indoor counter and let's see how we are going to select the rooms select similar rooms at once and define the utilization space what i think is the easiest way is when you draw the outer corners start by drawing a similar rooms like say see this all are waiting areas so i'm going to draw similar rooms first because then it becomes for me easy to select the rooms and define the utilization space if your project is small then selecting of similar rooms might be easier but if your projects are too large say now i gave an example of my project which had 100 plus rooms in just level zero if your projects are too big and you have multiple rooms i think the easiest approach would be to draw the rooms of same type like let's let's start by drawing the waiting area of this hotel building So I have finished drawing the rooms with a similar utilization profile because these all are waiting areas. There are no other such waiting areas. Here it is an open space so I can draw it later because this whole is one space. But these are rooms with the same utilization profile. Okay. So I have drawn the rooms. Next what I am going to do is go to the spaces and I am going to select hold the shift key. Select the space. Hold the shift key and then you can select the other room. Awesome. So we have selected all the rooms which we need with the same utilization profile. Then the rest procedure remains same. We'll go to edit. So those are my waiting areas. I'll go to the general areas, waiting rooms. Okay. If you need to make any modifications here, you can make that too. For now, let us keep all standards. You can name the rooms too by keeping everything selected. Let's name it waiting. You can even give the description. Okay. Then here down we have height of the work planes 0.8 and wall zone 0.5. We can make it 0.2. And if you need to make any changes in the maintenance factors too, you can do the changes here by keeping everything selected. Perfect. I really love this feature because it was much needed for the type of projects i work let's try again now let's draw say this kitchen areas Perfect. So I have drawn a couple of kitchen rooms and these were of different dimensions. So here the waiting rooms all are like similar type but this kitchen are of different dimensions. So let us select the kitchens. Now we'll go to the space, select, hold the shift key, select the rest of the kitchens, name it, kitchen, edit. Select the template and the utilization profile. 
check the work plane height is pointed wall zone point two perfect it's really very useful update here till now i have drawn a total of eight rooms four being waiting areas and four being kitchen okay but it took me very less time to to select the rooms and assign the utilization profiles i'm sure this feature is going to save a lot of your time let's explore other features of dialogue Zero 12.1 in my upcoming tutorial if you have any doubts or concerns related to dialogue Zero 12.1 features do let me know in the comments below let's address it if you found this tutorial helpful please hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you